to get the second floor. Um, I know that my first floor rim joist is fairly similar to my second floor. I'm just gonna have a few things that I don't need. So I'm gonna just grab those, all of them, and I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna copy from the inside corner of the wall where it just hits my floor. And I'm gonna go paste those to the inside corner of my wall where it hits my floor. Well, I know I don't have any of my concrete blocks down there. I know I don't have any of my um, anchor bolts. I don't have a two by seven that would stick out, or two by eight, sorry, that would stick out into my floor. But what I do have though, is what's called a double top plate. So if we go look at this detail right here, I have what's called a double top plate holding up my floor. The double top plate is shown there. It's a two by six, so I can copy one of these straight down and I can place it in twice. Now, uh, since this wall was offset over, my floor joist doesn't continue on. Um, I do want to extend this floor joist over into where it hits. Same thing uh, up here. I'm gonna have to now offset my uh, gypsum board in by half of an inch. And then I wanna extend my uh, sheathing layer all the way up. For some reason, just got rid of it. All right, so I want to extend that all the way up. All right, now here's what's actually happening up top. If we look closely at the next uh, detail, the detail of our roof edge, that sheathing layer that we were just extending comes all the way up and actually holds in some of our uh, blown in fiberglass insulation. It comes up above the roof truss, almost up to the top edge. And so that two by four that we had earlier, part of our truss, uses the inside edge of that sheathing as its left edge. So we're really gonna have to move this and extend these lines up. So I'm gonna take this and just simply move it over to the right for now. I want to temporarily extend these lines. They're gonna come up beyond here, but I'm gonna extend them up to this level right now. All right, And then I can now move these two lines back in location, and that'll be where our roof um, vertical member of the truss actually starts. I wanna extend it on up into here. Actually, this line here, the two by uh, six, that's gonna extend all the way out to our fascia board as well. So we're gonna do some extends and trims right now. We'll extend that, we'll trim this, we'll trim this. You'll notice that these actually don't even exist inside of here, so we wanna get rid of those as well. Okay. And so for right now, just trim it up to look like so. All right, reading this detail, we have some asphalt shingles. Those don't have any thickness. We have some waterproof shingle under underlayment. Again, we don't show their thickness. So the first thing we do have though is half uh, plywood sheathing. So we're gonna take that plywood and we're gonna offset it to the inside by half of an inch. Um, which then means that our two by six is not two by six anymore. So we wanna offset this in by half of an inch as well. And then get rid of that first layer. So I'm gonna leave these two because they're gonna extend up, but I am gonna trim off that portion of our truss. And we'll focus on our one bys, right? So one by four. One by four is, oh, I need to switch my layer again. A one by four is three quarters of an inch wide by three and a half inches tall. Right, now, this is not dimensional lumber. Um, it's not structural lumber, sorry. And so uh, we're not gonna draw the X inside of here. A one by eight is three quarters of an inch wide by seven 
and a quarter of an inch tall. And then uh, one by 12 is three quarters of an inch wide by 11 and a quarter of an inch tall. What we're going to do is simply move them in from their left endpoints into these endpoints of our fascia trims. So I'm going to move from that bottom left endpoint into there. Move this next rectangle from its bottom left endpoint into there. I'm going to move this one into here. Now, this um, half inch plywood roof sheathing is going to extend all the way out to the front edge of our board. That way it stays flush. And you might be saying, well, Mr. Alburn, these things intersect. Well, here's the cool thing about wood is you could take a saw and you can just cut them off. You can't take any fancy material and like add wood back onto itself. So what we're gonna do is just pretty much take our saw and cut them or use the trim function to shave them off a little bit. All right, we have two two by six top plates here as well. So I'm just gonna go steal those down from below. Steal them from this top edge and put them on up in there. Uh, it's at this level here that we have our two by four fascia framing. And so I'm going to draw a vertical two by four or one and a half wide by three and a half tall. Throw my X inside of it. Oh, I messed that one up. Wow, I'm on fire right now. There we go. And I'm gonna move it to where it's in line with that top edge of our two by sixes. So don't click, but just hover over and use the extension. Now that two by six will be the bottom edge of our soffit. So go ahead and delete that little detail that we had out earlier. What we wanna do is extend a line over to the left from the bottom edge of that. Now, if I were to offset up by three and a half inches, I would have a line that comes all the way over and I'd have to trim it based off of my two by 12 sub fascia. So I'm gonna draw that in first. Two by 12 is uh, one and a half by 11 and a quarter. And it is dimensional lumber, so I wanna put my X inside of it. And then now I can simply move that one into location here. Same thing as before, we could take a saw and go ahead and trim that board up. And now I can just simply draw in my line coming across to connect it. This here is where I'm going to extend my two by six. And I have another board that I need to draw, right? These insulation baffles, uh, what they are is they are uh, two by four nailed on the inside of here, uh, holding in our insulation into our attic. And so we're just going to offset over here, we're gonna offset this line. Oh gosh, in by three and a half inches. I'm gonna use the fillet command, be a little bit easier. Fillet that, ooh, we gotta set my radius. Back to zero. Use the fillet command on those and then extend and trim. All right, so uh, that completes the roof detail, uh, the second floor and the first floor. Now, if we scroll all the way up, we're gonna see that we want to be trimming these based on the third little piece that kind of comes out. So I'm gonna draw myself a temporary line starting about here. I'm gonna draw it straight up through. And then based on that, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off all of these excess pieces. All right, you're going to annotate this drawing here on your own. Uh, if you need any assistance, post it onto the Google Classroom and maybe someone can answer. We are not going to draw in the outside 
um, shingles. Uh, we would want to use the array command since we're going to have about 56 of them. I don't want you to copy them up 56 times. Or the insulation. The insulation would be uh, just a hatch that's already in AutoCAD. So we're not going to do that as well. Um, so you will still annotate and dimension based on page 7 of our document.